Hello, let's make an enhancement to Talking Puffin, an open source Twitter client written in the Scala programming language. Uh, so here's the Talking Puffin website, talkingpuffin.org, and what I want to do is choose a feature to add that I can add pretty quickly. So let's go down to the issue tracking system and choose one here. So let me get a list of features that I've listed as needing to be added. and. Um, Let's do this one, filter by whether user is following. Let me run Talking Puffin, you can see it. Here's Talking Puffin, and this is a bunch of tweets from different people, and you see some of the names are in bold and some are not. Um, this guy is not following me. There are many people that I follow that aren't following me, and sometimes I want to filter those out. I don't want to show them here. Here's the filter dialog. And I want to add another checkbox, kind of like this one, that says exclude non-followers or something like that. So why don't we do that? Let's look at the code. The filters and the logic for filtering are stored in a Scala class called filter set. And you can see there's a Boolean variable here for the other checkbox that we were just looking at. So I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to call this exclude non-followers. So I've added that there. Now I'm going to go to the filters dialog and find this section that created the other checkbox which is here. Exclude retweets of statuses of people you follow. So there's code to create that checkbox and add it to the dialog which is exactly what I want to do now. So I'm going to duplicate these two lines and I'm going to make my new um, checkbox called exclude non-followers and exclude tweets of non-followers and now everything in this grid is addressed by row and column numbers so I'm going to move this up because row one is unused put this in row two. So at this point I should have the checkbox in place and now at the bottom this code runs when the user pushes the apply or OK buttons so what I want to do is set into the filter set exclude non-followers the true or false value from the checkbox. So if the checkbox is selected this value will be true and true will get stored here. If the checkbox is not selected it'll be false and false will get stored here. Okay so I think that's all the changes to filters dialog. Now let's take a look in filter set and we have to add logic for that filtering. And we have some similar code here. Um, this statement here does all the filtering. It's rather complicated. And I want to say um, not excluded by non followers. And I need to pass the status. And then I need to give uh, the non the followers are, I have a list of the uh, IDs of everybody following me. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so if the particular tweet or status that we're considering now is not excluded by this non-followers option, then we will include it. Now we need to write this excluded by non-followers. So excluded by non-followers and it needs the status which is one of these objects and it needs a uh, the follower IDs which is a list of strings and what is this method going to do? It's going to need to consider whether the option is turned on at all. So if this is turned on
and follower IDs contains now the status contains the user that sent it and there's an ID there which is a integer um, our list is string so we need to convert this to string first and so if we want to exclude non-followers and our list of follower IDs does not contain this then it is excluded otherwise it's not excluded okay I think we have that ready now we have to find this follower IDs that's not available here in this method so we have to pass it in so let's pass it in here okay and this gets called from the line right above it and we'll have to pass it into this method as well okay now where does this get called from let's find out that gets called from here so we need to pass it in here now we happen to have it here so we just pass it in okay let's try a compile command F9 should see messages here okay I've got some errors so what have I done wrong here okay this should be a colon and what else probably the same line recompile wrong number of arguments for something wrong number of arguments for include status oh okay that should have been here Looks like the compile is going to work this time. And then I'll run and see what we have. This is a good mix because there are two here who follow me and two who don't. And I want to filter out the two who don't. Okay, so filter, exclude tweets of non followers, push OK. Hooray, it works. Fantastic. Okay, so we've looked at a real change that I made to Talking Puffin, an open source Twitter client written in Scala. And I used uh, Jira, which is a tool to manage what changes we want to make. And I used IDEA, which is an integrated development environment. So there you have it.